sing as we prepare for this service of worship. Let us sing, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty, as we come. We come before a holy God that his grace and mercy will be upon us today. Let us sing together. remain standing for the call, response the call to worship join me we will proclaim your greatness as we worship O loving God we will proclaim your grace we will proclaim your grace and mercy as we worship O loving God we will proclaim your grace and mercy as we worship the we will proclaim your holiness and justice as we worship, O loving God. We will proclaim your holiness and justice as we worship, O loving God, forever. Mm. Invite you for the unison prayer of confession. Let us pray together. Merciful God, we confess and we are now loved you with whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your Lord. We have rebelled against you. We have not neighbors. And we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. 
In the first reading from the Apostle Paul letter to the Ephesian brothers and sisters, I invite you to join me. Let us read together Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29 through 32. Let us read together. Do not let unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit with whom you seal. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and growling, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving just as you forgive you. I want to invite the young disciples to come forward, please. Oh, the <coughs> Come on, come on. Jesus lost me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little one to me, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus lost me. Yes, Jesus lost me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Good morning. Are you awake? Good morning. Good morning. How was your school? It was okay. It was okay. Hey, tomorrow is what day? Monday. Tomorrow is also Labor Day. It's a holiday. Okay, so you will be off from school. Okay, I w today I want to talk about communion. Okay, why do we take communion? Do you know, we see the bread and the, we, and, and the juice of the cup. We take communion to remember that God loves us, that God is a forgiving God, that God cares for us. And we take communion to, to remember Jesus' death, a barrier, and resurrection. Okay? Have you had your friend, have you done anything to your friend or your friend done anything to you that make you mad? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, tell me. What is it? One of my friends, we were in PE class, and he punched me in the face. Oh, no. That can happen. Yeah. Okay. And what did your friend say? Uh, sorry or? or yes. Sorry. Is this, okay, your friend says sorry. Okay. When someone hurt you, and then when it says sorry, and what do you do? Do, do you pay back or you, you forgive them? You forgive them. You forgive them. Is it easy to forgive? Yeah. Okay. How about you? Have you forgiven someone before? Your, your sister or your brother or someone took your cookies? <laughs> eh? um, yes. Yes, forgiveness is... How about you? you? Have you forgiven someone or you did something to someone to forgive you? Eh? Or you are playing with your toy and someone took, took away something and they, they were mean to you. When someone is mean to you, how does that feel? Uh, upsetting. Yeah, it's upsetting. So today our scripture from Paul letter say we should be kind. Okay? So I want you to read this part of the scripture. Can you read it? See? Okay, this one for efficient food. Be kind. Okay, I want you to repeat after me, okay? Okay. Be kind. Be kind. And compassionate. Compassionate. To one another. To one another. Forgiving. Forgiving. Each other. Each other. Just. Just. As. And. In. And Christ. Christ. God. God. Forgive you. Forgive you. Okay. So when your friend is mean to you, you know, when your friend hurt you by mistake and he says, sorry, you forgive them. You have to be kind to them. What happens if I'm mean? When someone hit me back, I hit them back. Is that good? Uh, 
Not really, but it can be. <laughs> okay. So we are not, we are called not to pay back. We are called to forgive, okay? We are called to be kind like Jesus is kind to us and forgave us. So today I want you to remember to be, to be kind, to be compassionate, and to be forgiving, okay? And God will help you. So let us pray and give thanks. And when you repeat after me, dear Jesus, dear Jesus help, us help us to forgive one another. Forgive one another. Help, us help us to be kind to each other. To be kind to each other. Bless us. Bless us. Bless our family. Bless, our family. Bless everyone that's traveling for this Labor Day. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. Good job. Okay. At this time, we will present our gift. Uh, and thank you for your support to the ministry of the church. And the usher back there, can we present our gift? Bring, as we sing the doxology, please stand and uh, we sing the doxology together. Praise God from our blessing flow. Praise Him. God, we bring our gifts to you. We seek your blessings that it will be used for the work of your kingdom. May you bless our lives and bless our hearts to be a blessing to others. Yeah, with thanksgiving, in the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Let us sing spirit song, hymn number 347. Oh, before that, my bad. Please be seated. Yeah. I'm ready to go to the song. It's time for um, joys and concerns. As a church family, we bring our petition um, together. And for me, I want you to pray for me and my family. We have a concern. My mom is not well. She's in the hospital. She's been transferred to Omaha. So pray for her. Uh, her name is Sarah. And God will help her. Um, now she have appetite to eat, but she have they have doing some further testing, and but she 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 on a lot of medication. So pray for her and our family. And enjoy some concern. I've enjoyed that my sister is here this week. Wonderful, welcome, welcome. What's your name? Louis. Louis. We're gonna go to a game of Ains lab yesterday, and we're gonna go to one next week. She'll be here all week. So oh, okay. Yeah. Time with my mom. Wonderful, yeah. Good to see your mom too. So she is a soccer fan or haka? Sorry. Okay, okay. I just didn't know. Okay, soccer. Sorry. I was just messing with you there. <laughs> Okay, Janet. Both a joy and a concern. This week, uh, we will be at the Senior Center, and we'll be working for a rummage sale in order to raise money to fix that building. And so if anybody wants to come and help, uh, we're setting up uh, Wednesday night and Thursday, uh, tearing down on Saturday, so we can use extra helpers. Okay, Senior Center, all the support to help. Any other joys and concern? We we'll give thanks to all those who are celebrating birthday and anniversary. Let us prepare for prayer. We also pray for Maui. Yes, we'll continue to pray for Maui, pray for those who are traveling the holiday the Liberty weekend, and for our country and for our school system. 
I invite you for this time of prayer. Our good and gracious God, we thank you. We thank you that you woke up us this morning and brought us to this place of worship. We pray for the needs of our church family. You know all about it. We pray you continue to bless us, bless those who are not here and those who are with us. I pray that your grace will be with them. We remember all our members in different places, oh God. You know their needs. I pray you give them grace and strength. I pray for your continued recovery and grace towards the people of Maui as they recover from the devastation, oh God. Well, I pray you give them strength as they rebuild. And those who are grieving that you'll continue to comfort them and give them strength as they receive the help they need. We pray for the senior center and a different project to renovate. I pray you, you provide the resources they need and all the strength to work and I ask for your blessing on this community of Moville. We thank you for our friends and family who will be gathered this Liberty Weekend, those who are traveling for your traveling mercy. Oh God, we ask that you open doors for our church as we kick off this on uh, this fall activities and, and, and that we'll grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, that we'll learn together and we'll grow together in sharing your mission. We pray for the Midwest mission and the desire to reach out and, and share, help us, oh God, as a church to participate in that. We pray for healing for my mom, oh God, Sarah in the hospital, that you will continue to watch over her, give her strength, help her body. We thank you for the nurses and the doctor and all the next step, oh God. Surround her with your love. And others who are ill and others who are recovering and others who feel lonely, that your grace will be with them. We thank you. We thank you for your love that is everlasting. We thank you for your forgiveness. We give thanks for all your blessing. Let your Holy Spirit reign in our hearts today as we celebrate this great mystery, as we remember the death and burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we give thanks, we say to you all be the glory for the great things you will do in and through our life. For the sake of Christ, we pray. Let God's people say amen. Amen. Now we can sing spirit song. Oh, let the Son of God enfold you with his spirit and love. Let him fill your heart and satisfy your soul. That's the work of the spirit. Let us sing this song with joy. Please stand as you are able.
that is my prayer that God by his spirit will come and fill us fill our hearts with joy and peace God is in this place by his spirit amen, amen. so I invite you for the scripture reading from the Old Testament book of Genesis this is the story the ending part the story of Joseph as you remember, I've been speaking on the theme of what is your story that all of us will have a story in our lives. And we've been looking at different stories. So my hope is next Sunday, I will be sharing part of my story. And I'll be able to answer some questions in the evening time. So today we'll look at the story of Joseph. And I invite you to please read along with me. Genesis chapter 50, verse 15 through 21. Let us read together. When Joseph's brother saw that their father was there, brush against us and pay us back for all the wrong we did to him. So they sent word to Joseph, your father left this instruction before he died. This is what you are to say. I ask you to forgive your brothers Now please forgive the sins of the servant of God, Father. When their message came to him, Joseph wept. His brothers then served down before him. We are your slaves. Don't be afraid. Am I in place of God? You intended to harm, but God intended it for good. Done. Saving of life. So then, don't be afraid. I will forgive you, children. And he assured them. This is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us today. May your words bear fruit in our lives, that we will not be only listening, but, but doer of your word. Help us. Help us, O oh God. I surrender all to you. Give myself now in the preaching of your word. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. It is a difficult thing at times. It is in our world. It is it's a struggle at times in our family. And perhaps, unfortunately, it takes some people to the grave because they cannot forgive. Forgiveness, it is heart of the gospel. It's, it's what Jesus invites us to do. But yet, sometimes we struggle to forgive one another. We struggle when someone pay us back. The tendency is to get even, to pay back. And we see all of that in our world today. And sometimes, even in your own family, we struggle to get along with each other. When someone hurt you, and one thing I know, sometimes you, you are angry, you are bitter, and you want to pay back, or you don't want to talk to that family member because they did something to you long time. And we look at the story of Joseph. It's a family story where Joseph, in a way, is a favorite, you know, of his, among his brother, his father, Jacob, favor him and, and yet Jacob, uh, Joseph had a dream he would rule over his brother and, and, and Genesis, Genesis had a story where Joseph shared that with his brother and they feel like how dare you say that and now they've had a plan to even kill their own brother and his older brother Reuben said no we should not they should not do that and so they sold their own brother, and Joseph became slave. 
in Egypt and, and you wonder how can this be your own brother from the same family how we are called to treat each other with kindness but unfortunately this is what is happening to their own brother and God was with Joseph and favored Joseph. And through his prison life, God favored him. He interpreted the dream of. And God favored him so much that he was the second in command in Egypt. And yet, his own brother, who did all of this to him, there was a farming in the land and they came to Egypt. And they saw their own brother, Joseph, but they did not recognize him. And if you look at the story, Joseph identified himself. And they were stunned. And in this chapter, the dad, Jacob, has died. And they are wondering how... Joseph will pay them, uh, will treat them in a way. Because sometimes when you, when you hurt someone and, and, and you feel like, what they will do to pay you back? Or will they forgive you? Joseph could have been better for the rest of his life because how he was treated. And at the end of this scripture, in fact, when they, they make a plan, they brought the ladder before Joseph. They say, oh, of our dad says, you should forgive her. All of this, the scripture said Joseph wept and, and told them, am I in the place of God? You, you meant evil against me. You, you intended to hurt me. But God made everything and worked everything out for the good. And God will work in the life of Joseph in the midst of all the pain. In the prison, favor him with grace and mercy and preserve his life. And yet the brother are coming to him to oh, please forgive us. And Joseph say, No, I'm not in the place of God. Regardless the struggle, regardless the the division or how much someone hurt you. To be honest, it's hard to forgive. Is it not true? Amen? It's hard to forgive. So sometimes we, we need to ask God to give us grace. So the apostle Paul said, Let no unwholesome word come out of your mouth. Let not bitterness and anger and malice, the slander come out of your mouth. But be kind and compassionate. We are people of mercy. We are people of forgiveness. We must treat each other with kindness. And the great example the Apostle Paul gave is the life of Jesus Christ. The God in Christ who forgave us and reconciled us to himself. We were far away and God forgave us and showed us grace. And this is a picture of Joseph showing to his brother. You meant to hurt me, you meant to harm me, but I forgive you because I'm not in the place of God. But I show you kindness. Joseph provided for his brother and gave his love to them. You see, he could have said, now it's the time for me to pay back. Daddy is gone. I will show you because he had a power. He was in authority. But he let all of that go. I wondered our world, our community, if we were more forgiving, if we were more kind and compassionate to, to each other, I wondered, the message for the church is, we are people of forgiving spirit. We must live in a way to show that we are forgiven by the grace of God. There are no better example to think to illustrate this is when I saw this picture at a prayer service for a family. And before their dad was dying, the brother and sister, they could not talk to each other for a long time. And in fact, they were taking turns to see their dad in the hospital. 
if you were to go, if the sister were to go like 11 o'clock, the brother would go maybe 1 o'clock. They could not see eye to eye. Whatever conflict that happened in their family, they would fight away from each other. And when the dad was dying, God's Spirit worked through that and in the prayer service, the sister stood up and said a word of forgiveness to the brother. And the brother stood up and said a word of forgiveness and reconciliation to the sister. They haven't spoken to each other for 10 years. Folks, this hurts in the family. And perhaps you know someone, or perhaps someone has done something to you, and, and you will not let go. You want to pay it back, or you say, oh. And some sad to say, people take it to the grave. And I always hear, they owe my dead body, I will forgive that person. Have you heard that? And so, we too are called to this work of forgiveness and mercy and grace to know that Jesus Christ, our great example, show us how to forgive. You remember the first war on the cross, Jesus was in pain and said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. We have a merciful God. And the story of Joseph illustrates that no matter what we have done, we have God who is forgiving. And we are called to go and be compassionate, be kind to each other, forgiving each other just as God in Christ forgave us and show us his grace. So today as you come to the table to receive the grace of God, remember you have been forgiven. Remember, let your heart be filled with joy and kindness and forgive each other. Be compassionate. And the psalmist said, as far as the east is from the west, God has forgiven us and called us to be his children. So we are called to forgive. When it's hard to forgive someone, may you seek the Holy Spirit to help you, to give you strength to say words of love and mercy. Because in our world, where we live, we want to get even. When someone snaps back at you, you want to snap back at them. But we too are called to be different, to show that we have been forgiven. May God help us to learn from this story of Joseph. May God help us to forgive one another, to find healing that in loving and showing kindness. Like Joseph did, he brought his family together and showed them the picture of grace, of love, of kindness, of mercy, of goodness. And may that be our desire as well. May God help us in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So Father, we come to the table. We thank you. We thank you that your word... It's true that you call us to forgive. We thank you for forgiving us. We come to the table knowing we come, we don't deserve your grace, but you are given to us. So we celebrate today. Help us to forgive and be kind to one another and to show that forgiveness wherever we go, in our workplaces, in our lives, and with our family. If we are struggling to forgive someone, give us the strength, oh God. We commit all to you. We thank you for your word. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. As we prepare for communion, we are the body of Christ, one bread, one body. Let us sing this song as we prepare for communion. Yeah. 
somebody. Sisters and brothers, we come together to the Lord's table. We are all invited. It's an open table. All will believe and confess the sin and repent. We are welcome to this table. So I invite you to, to please stand as you able for the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their on any hymn. Holy, holy, holy. holy, holy. God of power, and the of Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Holy are you, and blessed is your son Jesus Christ. By the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church. Deliver us from slavery to sin and death, and may with us a new covenant by your word, by water and spirit. The Holy Spirit, Scripture said, On the night in which our dear Savior Jesus Christ gave himself up for us, our dear Savior took bread, he gave thanks to the Father in heaven, and broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, our dear Savior Jesus Christ, he took the cup, the cup of mercy, the cup of forgiveness, gave thanks to his Father in heaven, and said, drink from this, all of you, this is the blood of the new covenant poured over for you and for me, for the forgiveness of the sin of us all in the world. Do this as often as you drink it in remembering of our Savior blood that was shed on Calvary Cross. So, Father, as we, and so as we remember your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, O oh God, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. That Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. So, Father, I pray that you will pour all your Holy Spirit upon us, gather ye and on these gifts of bread and cup. Make them be for us the blood and blood, the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood, by your spirit make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in front of victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet, through your son Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church. All honor and glory is your almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer, believing that we have been forgiven. Now, we have a loving Father when we pray that he is able to hear us. So we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Earth us. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us as we trust back against us and lead us to die in the power and the glory. Amen. Please be seated and those who are prepared for communion, come and receive it. Thank you.
we have received the grace of God. We are one body, the body in Christ Jesus. Let us give thanks to the Almighty God for his work in our life. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for all you have done through Jesus Christ. We pray by your Spirit that you will reign in us a spirit of forgiveness and love to, and you will bless us as we go forth to be used by you. We thank you for all you have done through Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us, strengthen us for this work, for the ministry of our church, to remember one body, one bread for all you have done. We give thanks. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Okay, one bread and one body. We'll just sing one line and from there we will close our service to remind you that we have one body. Let's sing together one, one, one line, okay? Please stand as you're able. Bunny, one Lord of all, one blessing. indeed we are one body you are tasted the goodness of God you are here the word of God proclaim may spirit bear fruits in your life so as you go forward may God bless you may he keep you may his face shine upon you and may he be gracious to you to go and love this word and show a forgiving spirit wherever you go be kind and compassionate, just as Jesus did, for all, us all. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Amen. Find us together, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.